Hey, this is Sunil Kumar and today I'm gonna show you how to run a successful ITC experiment and uh, this is the ITC instrument and uh, it contains a reference cell which you can see here and a syringe so we're gonna run a, an experiment and it is divided into five parts one is first one is uh, we're gonna wash the syringe wash the cell and then we'll fill the solution in both syringe and cell and then uh, we will uh, set up an experiment on the on the monitor and we will start it so first of all uh, if you see uh, you will find this instrument the syringe in this position and uh, what we have to do is uh, we will wash it and uh, the commands that are controlled by by the monitor so you have to to wash the syringe we have to come to the monitor and uh, these are uh, this is the software uh, of this instrument and uh, if it is not opened you can always open it it's on the desktop itc 200 and uh, then what you do is uh, there are several tabs on that so you have to go to instrument controls click that and then uh, you will find uh, different commands here so we were looking for syringe wash you can see here you click the syringe wash it will ask you please connect the syringe and uh, then you since the syringe is already on wash position you can see this is the wash position uh, and uh, there are there is another position which is the rest position you take it out this is the rest position and if you have to load the solution that will be the third one which is the loading position so right now we have to wash it so we will again take it back to the wash position click that ok and uh, you can see it already start washing the syringe so now the next step is now to wash the the cell and uh, we're gonna use this plunger to do that so there is a hole in the in this box which is for the for filling the solution so you carefully put the plunger inside that and uh, softly gently push it a little bit and then one of the tubes you have to wash the the cell with first with detergent and then with water 50 ml of detergent and then 200 ml of water so what you're gonna do is you have a tube open ended here uh, and you put it inside the detergent and with the help of this thermomac we're gonna wa wash the cell so you stop the th the no knob of the thermomac it's always uh, in middle position so you start it by pushing it towards uh, right as you can see it started and uh, it will take a few seconds to start coming solution in the waste which is the soap solution and once it started then uh, you can move the mob uh, sorry the knob to the extreme right and once you finish washing the the cell with the soap then you can switch without stopping the thermovac you can switch the pipe tube to the water and uh, you have to repeat the same washing with the water instead of 50 ml now you have to use 200 ml and you make sure you keep on refilling the tube once it's close to empty with the nano water from this big bottle and uh, they are always here so the syringe is about to be finished washing you can see on the monitor here uh, there are only 1.4 minutes left now so once the wash is done uh, it's gonna stop automatically you don't have to do anything as you can see right now it's still washing but it's gonna stop in a minute and uh, 
as far as the washing cell is concerned uh, once 200 mil is done you take out the tubing and then you can hold it in hand so that whatever solution left in the cell it come out and uh, then uh, you can switch the knob of the thermovac at stop position which is the middle position and then put the put back this plunger take it out gently and then put it back at its earlier position and uh, this is how you wash the cell and you can see over here now in the monitor the washing of the syringe is also done so the next step is uh, now to fill the solution in both the syringe and as well as the cell first i'm going to show you how to fill the solution in syringe so for that uh, there is a syringe here so you first have to transfer the solution of the ligand which you're gonna fill in the syringe from bigger append off tube to the smaller tiny ones so they are specific for this uh, uh, ITC you can borrow from here some of them otherwise you can come here and transfer your solution from your append off tube to the small ones they are 200 microliter volume so you transfer about 150 or 200 microliter volume and then put it at the load position and uh, once you do that now we go back to the monitor and uh, again look for the command which is a uh, syringe fill you can see here click that and it's gonna ask to play place the pipette in rest position so you take it out from here and put it this is the rest position and now you hit ok and wait for the next command on monitor and uh, it will take 5-10 seconds and then it will ask you to put the pipette in titrant you move the syringe to the loading position and then you hit ok so it will take less than a minute to do that it's gonna suck the solution up back and forth make sure that uh, there won't be any bubble inside the syringe and then uh, we will wait for the next command in the meantime which is the next part to fill the solution in cell so what you do is you take the syringe which is sitting in front of the machine take your solution and fill it the cell contains 200 microliter solution so ideally you should make 300 microliter solution or more than that and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the cell with the solution so there is a central hole in that so you slowly put the syringe inside and uh, release the solution inside so since the volume is uh, 200 microliter in there but uh, our syringe contains more than that so you make sure you overfill the the cell and uh, then you kind of move the syringe a little bit so that if there is any bubble you introduce during the filling it's gonna go away so you kind of move it for 10 seconds inside keep on doing that little bit up and down as well and make sure you remove any bubble if you introduced so after doing that you suck the extra solution from the cell 
so uh, once you get this meshes after the syringe dry uh, you have to unhook the syringe from the tubing gently and uh, you take out the syringe and put it inside the cell so after this you click ok on the screen for this message and uh, this is the process of washing the syringe as well as the cell and filling the solution in there so the next step will be to set up an experiment we have to switch from the instrument controls to another tab which is the advanced experimental design click on that and you will see a different screen and uh, some commands here so now couple of things one is total injections generally we keep it from 25 to 35 depends on your need or uh, you can uh, see some old literature reports if somebody has done itc on your uh, system and uh, then the cell temperature you can vary it accordingly uh, whatever temperature you want to run the experiment and you are not supposed to touch these uh, values and over here you can fill the syringe concentration value so right now uh, it's one millimolar so i'll just change it to one millimolar and uh, the cell concentration uh, is 25 micromolar here so it's 0 0.025 and uh, you are not supposed to change others so one more important thing is the volume per injection so this syringe contains 40 microliter and uh, you need to make sure that you already have let us say 27 injections here so you multiply this number with this and it shouldn't exceed 40 microliter otherwise you end up uh, messing up your experiment with bubbles so you always double check the the multiplication so that it won't exceed 40 microliter and uh, generally we keep uh, 1.2 to 1.4 microliter of injections but uh, you can increase or decrease it accordingly and uh, spacing uh, 180 uh, seconds which is three minutes people do it up to five minutes as well depends on uh, how fast or slow you want to go with the equilibrium and uh, you see there are all the injections here you can check them and uh, once you are done with this then uh, the next step is uh, to put the data in your file so for that you need to make a folder and uh, what you gonna do is you go to sh shortcut to data and uh, make a folder here so I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, folder with my name I made a folder and you can close it now you go to you have to change the tab you go to real-time plot uh, you go to setup and uh, over here you double click on the data file path click on ITC data and then you scroll to find out the folder we just made which is here so click that and you do the same thing with the setup file path that's it so that's it so now the experiment you are running will go in your folder so now you come to again advanced experimental design and uh, you change it to name whatever you want of your experiment and uh, you start the experiment but before starting you might want to double check all the parameters like number of injections temperature and concentrations and uh, volume per microliter double check it and you can start the experiment so once you start it the screen will change and will show the real time uh, experiment so once the experiment is done then uh, we can process the data and to do that we need uh, the software which is horizon 5 or horizon 7 whichever 
uh, you have I'll show how to do that so origin you double click that go to read data and open the folder and you see a file double click that and it will show the experiment with the raw data, data file so you can see the full picture by going to the ITC final figure and this is the full file so you can actually fit it with one binding side or two binding side depends on how many binding side you have on your uh, data file so you can just let us say one data file you can fit it uh, keep on hitting this one itinerary un until unless you get the ideal plot and then you done so this is how you fit the data and uh, you get all the binding parameters which are here.